Hello and welcome back. I'm sorry for the abrupt cut off. Um, now let's see. Um, I'll just take it off from where I've, uh, um, where I, bit with a brief overview of where I left off. So basically, Marina, the daughter of Pericles and Teza, who is the daughter of the king of Pentapolis, um, got is currently residing in Tarsus with the daughter of Dion, uh, Dionza and Cleon. Cle Cleon, after her mother um, died giving bir birth to her, and um, Pericles didn't feel up to c caring for the child, um, able to care for the child. So sh they're going to raise, raise her, and she's going to... Um, be sent later. Oh, that's interesting. Didn't know that. Hmm. Um, any case. Indeed. Base. No, I don't want to call it Liverpool. I'm going to call it Taming of the Shrew. Do you guys like that I... That works. I come up with really weird names sometimes. Oh, Tia! Sorry, that's my dog. My dog just... Put her nose on my hand, that arm. No, unlike most Let's players, I do not have a cat. I have a dog. Funny enough for you. Okay. Either I make an alliance. Okay, but in any case, um, Marina grows up, um, Dianosa gets jealous, um, and orders her killed. However, pirates rescue her, kidnap her, rescue her, and give her to a brothel. Yep, Shakespeare wrote about brothels! I'll do stock exchange. That's fine. Um, it's actually, um, so where was I? Oh yes. Um, any case, however, Marina is such a goody two shoes and um, devoted to the vir the virgin goddess Diana. They're Greek. L deal with it. Um, that she, um, won't have sex. She actually converts them to not wanting her. Not having sex with her. She, she's bad for business. So, they're like, the owners of the brothel are like, okay, servant, rape her. She even converts the servant. Talk about awesome. So, here we are. She's converted the servant. She's converted all these other char uh, characters. And then the governor comes in. The governor's a bit of a creep at first. Shakespeare does a lot of this black becoming white, white becoming black. I mean, the only truly bad characters are um, Antioch's court, and the only truly good characters are Pentopolis and the people of Tyre. And Morena, of course, but... There's a... And minor characters, but... There's a lot of these characters going from black to white, from white to black. Dianosa, white to black. Lyotrimus, the governor of the town she's in, 
black to white. He starts out of being really abrupt and crude and rude, but then he falls in love with her and good old Pericles decides he's a good daughter for his husband for his daughter. What? Yeah. Well, she converted him, I guess. I guess that's an arguable point. But in any case, so that's like one of the very interesting things about this play. Make landfall. Can I make landfall again? No, I cannot. So I'll just stand here. And then I'll go here. And then I'll just press space. Okay, so in any case. We have idiot boy. Well, girl. We have really strange people. And yeah, that's essentially um yeah. Anyway, um, Pericles has a dream where Tyana visits and says, "Go to Ephesus." He does so, and his wife turns out to be the high priestess. Hmm, that sounds kind of like what happens in Comedy of Errors. That's because Comedy of Error, that's a plot point in both plays. Uh, no, I do not want to continue moving unit, you... thing. Yeah, this is gonna be one interesting game when we're done with it. Dropping. Make landfall. And, I don't have to deal with you uh, for a while, so go there. I'm sending you home. To home base. Wait, what's making what? I haven't checked that for a while. Mary Wife of Windsor, Windsor's, and I have one, two, three, four bit places making riflemen. Talk about awesome. And yeah, you know what? I'm not going to talk about Taming of the True. It could be called Shakespeare's Sexism Play. Play. Basically, it's about a guy who marries a girl for money, a girl who's a real wench. Um, a really not nice lady for, uh, money, and, f and a bit of love. But, they end up falling in love with each other after he, um, tones her down a little. Yeah. There's a subplot where the girl's in question sister, um, um, is fighting off multiple suitors and ends up with the guy she wants. Ooh, Eiffel Tower! La Tour Eiffel. Eiffel. Don't know how to pronounce it. Oh well. I'm not French. Oui, oui. Oh, 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 oh. I am French. Oui. Oh, the city of love. Oh, oui, oui. Mwah. Oh, yes. You take a beautiful girl and you go to the Eiffel Tower with her and you make sweet, sweet love to her. <laughs> I kill me! Yeah! I like the sound of that. So. And since I just gave you a brief overview of Taming of the True, I am caught up. And I don't want to establish roots. I vaunt. Build me the cathedral! Make me a sandwich! Speaking of which... World. What are the wonders right now? Do I have how many wonders? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight wonders. That's a very nice amount of wonders. I don't think they have any anywhere near that many. Ooh, let's see here. Uh, top five cities. We are the top two cities in the world. Yeah. And they all have more unhappy people than me. I only have one unhappy person. That makes me really happy. Okay. But look how many cities I have. I have like, how many I don't ha have a lot of cities, but I have an quite a few amount. Quite a nice amount. I think I have ten right now. 
I'll have to check that. Ooh, what's our Civ score? I'm just looking at things. Look at all the people I have! And a major vast majority of them are happy people! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, almost have 9, 92 citizens, negative 50 for barbarians, peace for one with plus 100, and the Shakespearean achievements is, is equal to 160, which gives me a score of 302. Not bad. Not sure what my score will be, total score. Uh, Demographis. Third, on approval rating. Grr, not happy. First in population. Second in GNP. Grrr. Oh, no wait. Haha! <laughs> First in, um, goods. First in square miles. First in literacy. First. And we're tied for first with the Egyptians. First, third in family size, 3.3 children, 5 children from the Americans. That's a lot of kids. I know a family with more kids, though. <laughs> um, three, third in military service, 7 years. We only have 3? Wow. Um, third in dollars per um, capita person. Uh, and third in everything else, essentially. Oh well, we're we're pretty cool though. No cheating. I'm not going to cheat in this LP. I might cheat. In, I might just show you what a cheating LP looks like though, in a later LP. Yeah. Ooh, spaceships. We don't really deal with those right now. Uh, city status. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Not bad, but still not enough. A uh, defense minister, how am I doing? Twenty riflemen. One crusader. Yeah, I don't have, a, like, a crazy uh, army right now. But I still have a nice army. Let's see here. Oh, I've already gone through those. Uh, what's my foreign ministry? Worshipful? Ah, the Americans worship me! That makes me feel so happy! And they like me. That's good. I want to check my intelligence. Close. Yeah. Well, since I don't see myself getting in war anytime soon... Um, let's see. Trade. <gasps> wow! I get more than I take. Which is good. I need to keep that up. Alrighty. Now, I'm just going to check something here. And I'll be signing off soon, most likely. I just want to... No, I don't want to do Cafe High Council right now. I'll do that next video. Yeah. And this has been the Green Actor with Let's P Play Civilization 2, signing out!